Hi, today I'm going to show you some of my tips on how to clean your motorbike. Okay, and these are the only tools that you need. Okay, a tip that I have for people that have really dirty, muddy bikes is putting it on its side to give it a wash. Now, most people will just lay it down on a, on a grip against their stand or just lay it on the concrete on the stand, on, on the side, and um, that's you know, a good way to wreck your grip. So a tip that I use is, is take it off, it off our stand and we use the stand to sit underneath these four pinch bolts here. So then you're not going to um, tear, tear the end off your grip. So simply just laying the bike down, getting the stand and placing it underneath the bolt like that. That way you can get to all of the harder areas to access while it's sitting up on the stand to give it a clean. Okay, once we've soaped it up with our truck wash or bike wash, a lot of people have the misconception in thinking that you just hose it off after that and your bike's clean, but realistically that's not the case. Um, you need to put a bit of elbow grease in if you want the result. Um, I always start with the, with the scourer pad. There's some stainless steel beads in this pad uh, and, and this will clean off these boot marks that are left behind from, on the aluminium. You can see simply how quickly after a few wipes it disappears. On the top section, the, the bottom section requires a bit more because it's uh, more concentrated down here. But um, as you can see, it's the few wipes and it uh, all, all comes off. Also when washing other parts of the bike, um, even if you can't wash them easily, or you can't get to it because of the access problem, as long as you touch it, if you can get your finger in there and just touch it, it'll seem to come off. Okay, now once we've gone over the bike with the uh, stainless steel scourer pad, we just use this green scourer. Um, it's a lot more gentle on the aluminium and I always use this for getting uh, flying W marks off exhaust systems. And if you just do it in a straight motion, don't try and do it in circles, um, you'll just get some nice standard factory looking lines still on the exhaust system. Also, I use this on the swing arm. Um, you, you often get some boot marks on your swing arm. Just a, a light going over on the swing arm. We'll get most of those marks off as well. If, if they're heavy or they're actual gouges from rocks, uh, you will need to use the, uh, the stainless steel scourer pad. But generally, this will get most of it off. And then, as I said before, you need to actually put in a bit of elbow grease now, another hard access point is hubs. You can see this hub's filthy on the top now. When you spin it around, it's quite clean there, so someone's just pressure washed this on a trailer. It hasn't spun the wheel around. You get the bulk of it off, but you know, the underside is still filthy. And just, just touch the hub. I mean, you don't have to stand there and, and scour the hub. It's just as long as you've got the soap on it, and you actually let it touch it, and we'll come up clean. Spokes are the same, just, just spin the wheel. Yeah, it's always nice to have clean, shiny spokes. Some tracks have uh, a lot of alkaline or acidity in their soil, especially if they've um, been using bore water to keep the dust down. Uh, that generally stains your frame as well if you leave it on too long. So once again the, the scourer side on the front part of the frames and even on the bottom of the radiator tanks here, across here, just a, a light scour across. Another good tip to remember is when you're cleaning, if you're spinning your wheel backwards like I was just then, and you've got a clip link chain, it's always good just to check the clip link hasn't dislodged when you've turned your wheel backwards, because that can happen on a bike that's a little bit older, um, and the chain guide can, 
can be worn out enough just to unclip it. So just always recheck that. Engine cases, it's fine to use the scourer on as well. Um, just keep the same motion though, so that, that you create, you know, factory looking lines. Okay, if it's a really hot day, um, don't let the soap dry on the bike. There's certain brands that will discolour or tarnish the aluminium if it's left on too long. Um, just make sure you get it off while it's still wet, unless you know the product that you're using. So maybe just do a little sample on, the, on one of the parts underneath that you can't see. So just so you know how long you can leave the product on for before it does any damage. And when using a pressure cleaner cleaning your bike, there's a few things you should avoid. Uh, one is a crossbar pad, they're foam. This one here has been eaten away by someone misusing the pressure washer. Um, another thing to avoid is, is aiming your pressure washer at bearing points, so steering head bearings, top and bottom. Just avoid squirting it directly in there. Uh, same around um, suspension linkages. So down here, just avoid holding it on in that point. Okay, you can pressure wash it, but just avoid direct pressure on, on it. Um, same as in your rear wheel seals. The WRs have a cover to, to help restrict that, but water obviously from a pressure washer will go in everywhere. Um, another point is, um, Try and keep the water out of there. There are things called butt plugs that you can buy, which, which is stick in the exhaust. They are made for all different size outlets. Um, if that's not available when you need to wash your bike, just grab a rag and stick something in the rag. This is just a, a hose connector. Just to avoid water going in, because if, if your bike stopped and say your exhaust valves are open, you get water in there, it can go straight into the engine via the exhaust valves. Another thing you should avoid doing is holding a pressure washer up close if you want to keep your stickers that are on the bike. This one, somebody has pressure washed and they've blown away the Yamaha sticker that goes down the fork leg. Um, Yamaha have these decals sublimated so you can't blow those up off, but um, other models and manufacturers have stick on graphics which a good pressure washer will blow off. Okay now we're just going to give it a rinse off keeping in mind not to point the pressure washer at all the pivot points we don't want to blow the grease out and get water in behind there your bearings and that will just rust out fairly quickly. Okay another point I overlooked was radiators. If you've got a really high pressure washer like this Karcher is um, you can damage your radiator if you get up too close, so it'll bend all the fins over, so just be aware of that as well. You can still pressure wash it, but do it from a distance, like so. Okay, for those of you who don't have a chamois, um, once you've washed your bike and you're finished, just give it a wipe over with a rag or a chamois. A chamois is obviously better, but if you don't have one, just use a rag or a towel. Sometimes I'll use an old towel at home. Just uh, wipe over and get the water off. Um, once you've done that, there's some, some points where you should lube um, before you put your bike back in the shed. So places that, that I would lube, and this is just to stop it rusting and just make sure your foot pegs and, and your gear levers and brake levers all work correctly next time you go out. I would lube in here, pivoting the foot peg, um, lube either side of your, your brake pedal here, just pivoting it. Um, making sure the lube gets in. Uh, another point is your chain. Um, no good putting chain lube straight on over a wet chain. So I like to use some Yammer lube or Yammer shield uh, just to get the water off basically and, and add as a lubricant. Put your chain lube on before you ride though. Don't just expect to, to leave it as is. Basically everything that pivots, so foot peg, gear lever, you know, you, you want all those things to be working, um, especially if you, you know you hit, hit a log or whatever. And then generally, just give the whole motor a, a bit of a, a light spray, and it just stops things, you know, rusting, uh, and, and actually makes them a little shinier too. And the other benefit is, next time you go riding, it uh, the mud and, and dirt won't stick as well as it would normally, and it just makes it easier to wash off next time round.
Okay, so they were my tips on how to clean a bike. I'm sure everybody else has their own tips. Um, it's just the way that I do it. Uh, I think the best way to do it would actually be teach a young bloke how to do it, grab a six pack, sit back and make sure he does it properly. <laughs>